high all. This is why the angel here. And as promised, this is the first in the series of the new um, Come Learn With Us series. As a few of our viewers requested. So I couldn't find all of the water alchemy deck. One of the cards has gone walkabout. I'm sure it'll turn up. Uh, so I decided to use the Viking Oracle. Um, and it's the wisdom of the ancient Norse as well. It's also called that. And it's got some fabulous, as the guidebook, fabulous imagery on it. So the first card is Fehu. And as you can see, it lines up with the rune stones as well. So as you can see, this has got a fabulous, fabulous image of a Norse god standing with his fabulous figure and his battle dress on. So his saying is, I am the wealth, the power of having and moving, the freedom of having enough. With more to come, I can carry my treasure. Within me is all. I am fear who. And it is pronounced fear who. This is one of the runes of the elder Futark, and it literally means cattle. The symbol itself resembles the horns of the cattle, which you can see on his headdress. His element is earth, and when reversed, it means you do not know it all, you need more education. Um, not everything was measured in gold when it's up like this. And we were literally on the hoof. And we're always learning. Right, number two is card is Urnus. Or Urnus. Pronounced Urnus. And again, this is a rune of the elder Futak. And she says, she, as you can see, it looks more like a female, which it is. There we are, she's beautiful. And I am the flowing force of life, the focus of the blood pulsing, the oats being sown, and the uncontrolled wilderness. Tenacious and not quite polished, I am Uruz. Building personal power is only valuable if we do so from the inside out. If we rely upon external validation, we will, also, we will always be in a weak position, for we cannot tr control others. We must learn to trust ourselves, basically, and care for oneself. And self-knowledge will go up along with our self-esteem. And then we'll learn to build, a pro we'll learn to withstand any battering life can bring. And don't surrender to anyone's will. Let our real selves show. And many of us do surrender our will, our real selves, due to early childhood trauma or feel a need to fit in. Urus reminds us that not only does our true self never go away, it is far superior to any mask that we may have had to or chosen to wear. No matter what has happened to us, with the help of divine energies, we can rebuild our personal power and will ourselves back to wholeness. And as you can see, she's got, got this room embroidered in her backpack and she's also got it tattooed on her forehead. I am not advising anyone to have the Uru tattooed onto their forehead. 
but it is a tad it is something that we can all focus on in meditation if that card was to ever come out up in reverse it would mean you're placing too much emphasis on pleasing others rather than pleasing yourself and you're creating a false identity the element with this card is earth and fire so as you can see it goes along with the fey who which is earth card three is sewer e source who is source and it is also part of the elder who talk runes and he, he is as you can see and here he i am the hammer of wisdom i smash ignorance exploding smallness expanding outwards the thorn no longer in my side i am three souls although often return, referred to as the thorn this rune more accurately represents thor's hammer the mijlo or milio and the god himself so he's quite thor-esque thor a protective figure who defended asgard from the giants is the hero who calls upon who who one calls upon to fight for freedoms and balanced expansion so if you want balance in your life and to expand call upon thor and his mighty hammer reversed beware of those who who hold a smaller vision in life than you do and those who envy your dreams again this is earth and fire right i will bring him up so you can see him better this is card four this card is for improved communication and clear thinking and wise action so i inhale i am filled with your divinity the spark of all that is awareness floods of ignorance my body sings in recognition i exhale the chaos and stagnancy i am and Zeus. or it is also pronounced own Zeus. This is the great All Father Odin, breathed life and inspiration to every human. The Norse believed that our intellect and life began with the very first in inhalation after birth and ended with the final exhale at death. So he, Odin believed that we lived and breathed our learning right from the beginning to the end if that risk was reversed get your teeth in wise it says you the person lacks critical thinking and is outright dishonest this is an air card so basically you're an airhead is what warden's telling you right the last card in this teaching section is Ride Who or Ride Who. As this wheel turns, I am the center, seeing all things as they are. Right now, being within each step, free to choose blue sky, green fields. I am Ride Who. Ride Who. I am Ride Who. With lives deeply connected to the seasons, the Norse were more mindful of the now, of life rhythmically unfolded than we are. They are ate and lived and travelled and even reared according to the seasons. Red who, or pronounced right who, a rune that is part of the elder Futark 
reminds us to focus on every aspect of them now. Doing so will make each day rich and full of wisdom. Remember the Vikings were adventurers and pioneers and they travelled great distances and understood that their journeys were to be treasured as treasured as their destinations. Reversed, being mindful that you are living far too much in the past or in the future. We must make good decisions now. So don't place too much emphasis on your goals or your destination because bad things will happen in reverse. But this is your earth, so you need to keep rooted in the now and just fleetingly think back to the past and into the future. So I'm going to leave you with that now. So a quick recap of how, well, sorry, of what these cards mean. So we have Feihu, the skills and gifts you have within you are your greatest treasure. They will never be stolen. Pay attention to the way you view the links between personal power and wealth. Prosperity needs to be developed over time and shared. So he's warning you against greed and envy as well. Then we have Uru. Build personal power ethically from the inside out. Endurance and resilience are important now. Our will can change our fate and forge a path where there is none. Look to your health and vitality for these may need healing. Three source. Do not get drawn in, in unnecessary drama. There are many sides to every story, so make sure you research a situation thoroughly before making a decision. Ignorance is no excuse. Choose wisdom and remove the old thorn in your side. Choose the positive flow of enthusiasm for pseudonymity. I never say that. And passion rather than aggression and small mindedness and force. And we have card number four next. We have Aun Seuss. Improved communication, clear thinking and wise action are all great of importance now. Don't deny what someone or something really is in favour of a kind of perspective. Find order in chaos. We have inherited both positive and negative aspects from our ancestors and it is useful to know both. The universe is conspiring to open up in new ways to you. Ride, ride who or ride who? Your joys are signposts to your purpose in destiny. The journey is as important as the destination. Focus on the nows rather than the burdens of the past or the unrealized future. Stretch, aim. Stretch and aim for the new horizons. Work with the rhythms of the life and not against them. And what I should have done first was tell you about the spreads with this deck and the de how to dedicate your cards. But we'll do that at the end when we've gone through all of these. Once we've got another cards and then we'll dedicate the deck and then we'll talk about the spreads because there's different spreads for whatever you want to look for. Because there is the sacred three card draw, the nine worlds draw, the hammer draw, the past, present and future cast. And the rune only spreads. There is the one card divination and the pantheon technique. And that is how you spread the whole deck on the floor. And 
this is asking what the one card divination is is just ask take a breath and ask for guidance as you shuffle the cards and then simply choose one card you even may choose to do this daily as some of the ancients did and meditate upon the card's image and let it speak to you use the card as a guide for the day making sure you consider to do this and it's light and shadow aspects so that is when it's upright or in reverse that's its light and shadow so when if you were to do the sacred three card draw card one is the heart of the issue or question Card two is the challenge. Card three is the solution. And then I'll go through the other spreads on the different, when we go through the next lot of cards. So I'm going to leave you with that and I'll see you on the next upload. Thank you and goodbye.